What's up, everyone? Back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing another Oktoberfest beer, and this one is actually a collaboration between the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company out of both Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina, and the Bitburger Brewery out of Bitburg, Germany, and this is their 2019 Oktoberfest. So this is a Meritzen-style Oktoberfest that comes in at 6% alcohol by volume, 22 IBUs in the time of review. This bottle is just under two months old. So last year, I did Sierra Nevada's collaboration with Vihenstefana, which was the 2018 Oktoberfest, and it was really tasty. It kind of was like a blend of a Fest beer and a Meritzen as far as the Oktoberfest styles go. Uh, it was like the best of both worlds. My favorite American brewed Oktoberfest in 2018. So I uh, wanted to pick up the 2019 because... Over the last five years, Sierra Nevada has been collaborating with a different German brewery each year for their Oktoberfest release, and uh, yeah, here we are. It is the 2019 Oktoberfest with uh, Bitburger from Sierra Nevada, and let's get into it. So I've seen some people drink this one, quite a few people seem to dig it, so pretty confident I'll enjoy it. Will it be as good as last year's? I don't know. Will it be my favorite American brewed um, Oktoberfest this year? Who knows? Anyway, let's give it a uh, pour here. So yeah, pouring out. Now, so so <clears throat> this is pouring out more of a amber. Now, last year, it was a bit lighter and it looked like a fest beer as opposed to a Meritzen, but this one, straight up amber color, you know, great clarity to it like you want from the style, about a half finger to uh, three quarters of a finger of this like off-white head, looking decently creamy. Yeah, looking nice. It's looking like, you know, what a Meritzen should look like. Proper for the style, it's getting nose. Now, as I'm looking at the actual head, it's like a light tan, almost cream colored, but whatever, it's getting nose. Hmm. Yeah, just to be honest with you, very subtle. Um, not really, you know, getting a whole lot here. Slight touch of caramel, slight touch of like a brown bread. A little bit of like a citrus note, like a lemon, like lemon pith. Which is weird, in all honesty, for the style specifically. Yeah, not going to bullshit you. Um, not getting a whole lot on the nose. Doesn't smell bad or anything. It's just I can't get much. So hopefully the taste is a bit better. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it tastes... Oh, I really like that aftertaste. Tastes is definitely better. This one... Now, going back to last year, I could have drank a lot of the collaboration with Vihen Stefana. With this one, though, this seems way more drinkable. This, again, is giving me drinkability vibes of an actual Fest beer as opposed to a Meritzen. Right up front, though, really nice caramel. I'm getting more toasted bread than like a brown bread, but caramel, toastiness, a little bit of like a nutty um, character as well. Slight like honey tinge as well. Pass through the palate. That little lemon pith thing is definitely there. But then I'm getting this like slight spicy, like slight spicy hop note. It's it's subtle, it's nuanced, but it's there. It doesn't have a huge floral aspect like I get from the style. Finishes semi-dry, a little bit more residual sweetness than most, but it's not like super sweet, but the bitterness is very low. It's more dry than bitter. As you can see, very easy to drink. Uh, the body on this one's like lower side of medium body at 6%. I'm cool with it. Maybe a touch thin, but you know, whatever. Uh, the mouthfeel, very crisp, very clean, effervescent, spritzy on the palate. This is a little bit more carbonated than your typical um, Meriton, at least of the ones that I've had over the last couple of years. A little bit more carbonation here. Very easy to drink. What I'll say about this one is that last year's collaboration for me had way more depth. Uh, I should say, let me take it back. Not way more depth. It had more depth. It had more character. It had more intensity to the flavors. Not that you want like a super intense beer when you're talking about the style. It just had a little bit more of a cohesiveness and just a flavor profile that I enjoyed. This one though is good and I think it's more drinkable than last year's. Because the flavors are so subtle and nuanced and subdued, I think this is a bit more drinkable than last year's, but I don't like it as much. Now, I don't remember what I rated last year's. I want to say probably I gave it a four out of five or somewhere in that range for the beer itself and probably stylistically like four and a half. Not going to go that high this year for it. What I will say about the 2019 Oktoberfest in collaboration with Sierra Nevada and Bitburger, 
this is a pretty tasty Oktoberfest, Meriton style Oktoberfest. I do enjoy it. I wish there was a little bit more overall just flavor to the beer. Uh, but that said, rating, uh, personal preference on this one, I can't give it much higher than a 3.75 out of 5. That's where I kind of fall as far as personal preference. Stylistically, this is probably like a low 425. It's probably like a 4.15, 4.2. I think it's really nice for the style. I just think it's way more subdued and has less... Jesus, I don't know if that's going to be picked up on the uh, mic, but somebody outside just went nuts in their... I think that was a car. Um, but yeah, so like stylistically, this is not as good as last year's and probably not the best one that I'm going to drink this year at all. Maybe it will be though. I don't know. But stylistically, we'll say 4.15 out of 5. Personal preference, 3.75 out of 5. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Uh, like I said, a lot of my untapped friends seem to you know dig this one. They were, I think most of them were in like the 4 out of 5 range, so I'm a little bit under that. Um, price and availability, I paid like less than 2 bucks for this bottle and availability. Sierra Nevada. They get distro pretty much everywhere, like all across uh, the U.S. and a bunch of different countries. So you should be able to see this one. If you do, pick it up, especially for the price point. Give it a go. And the fact that they collab with a different German brewery every year is pretty cool. So it's not always the same release. They're always doing something different. So yeah, 3.75 out of 5 personal preference, 4.15 out of 5 for style. Uh, pretty good beer. I do like last year's a bit more at the same time. I do enjoy this one. So appreciate everybody stopping by. And uh, yeah, 6% alcohol by volume. Can't really taste really any alcohol. Maybe a little bit of warming into the chest ever so slight, which at 6% is kind of, you know, it, it doesn't really affect me. I think it's more that I'm just drinking the beer and I'm feeling the effects as, you know, as opposed to like, I'm actually tasting the alcohol because I'm not. Uh, but overall, pretty damn good beer. So take it easy, everybody. Cheers.